Okay, so we're gonna get another acceleration here. Woo! Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing the all new 2023 Audi Q8. First and foremost though, a huge shout out and thank you to the strong Audi here in downtown Salt Lake for giving me some time with this Q8. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory in the description down below, so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask to work with Mike and Landon, and they'll be more than happy to help you out. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So under the hood, we have a turbocharged three liter V6. It goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 18 around town and then 23 on the highway with power puts being 335 horsepower and then 369 pound feet of torque. Now let's go to the front end of the Q8. So first off, you guys can see not a lot happening there in the center of the hood, but I do love the distinctive lines on either side and we have really cool LED accent lights here, the daytime running lights, and then you guys can see the LED headlamps as well. And then you guys can see there, uh, down below, we got some more light action there. It's a pretty interesting cluster because when you look at it from a distance, this is all you see, but then if you look closer, you can see the little lights off to the side. Anyways, parking sensors integrated into the front end, and then you guys can see the Audi logo with a camera there at the bottom of the logo. We've got chrome trim here on the front end, and other than that, there's the front. Popping on the side here, our tiring wheel setup is 285, 45, 21 in the front and in the rear as well. And then you guys can see the design on the wheels and the coloration, well, silver for the coloration. The design's pretty interesting because we don't have a ton of spokes here. It's actually just a five spoke design, but then you have like the little split, so it makes it look like there's a lot more spoke action than there actually is. And anyways, we've got the body painted fender flares. You notice all the trim there at the bottom is also body painted. And then if we take a few steps back, Here's your full side profile. You can see the chrome trim there around the windows and yeah, pretty cool profile. So here's our key fob for the Q8. Uh, first off, got the Audi logo there at the bottom. We have our unlock function. We've got the lock function in the opening here for the cargo area. So popping inside, we have a cargo cover already built in. And so you guys can see we actually have this floor covering that comes with it from the factory. If we lift that up and lift this little latch up, you guys can see the extra storage space in the spare tire underneath and we've got these beautiful like metallic plaques by the way they're not blue that's just because the covering on them and we even have lights back here as well uh, but overall it's very spacious one of the big benefits of the q8 is you've got quite a bit of storage space when you're done you can lock it or you can just lower it down without locking it basically there you go Finishing things up with the rest of the rear. Uh, by the way, you guys are probably noticing that we do have some uh, paper on this. This literally just got here, so uh, hasn't had a chance to get everything taken off, but it's kind of like a behind the scenes look, which is always exciting. Anyways, love the sequential turn signal action here. And then of course we got like the whole like light bar action, which is pretty cool. Q8 logo, Quattro badge, of course. And we actually have this like trim down here that looks like it would be the exhaust tips, but it's not. It's just for stylistic purpose because the exhaust is actually underneath. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about the rear styling. Now going over the rear door panel here. So first off, we have this beautiful wood trim there and then it actually unlocks the door as soon as you press the handle. Now this it's kind of, I uh, guess, a little ashtray. Interesting. Anyways, window control there. And then you got really nice leather trim all over this portion of the door panel. And then here are these seats. So again, perforated all down the center portion. I think they look great. And you guys get to see the seat covers that come with this from the factory, which is awesome. Anyways, legroom. And then headroom. And then you guys can see here, we got the vents. We have our climate controls here for the rear as well. So this is actually a quad zone climate system. And then you got some charging ports down below. And of course, we have our whole cup holder armrest situation. Let's head to the front. So here is our front door panel again. You can see with all of the leather trim and the stitching. All of our window controls right here and then the mirror adjustments. They are heated, they also do fold in. And here's a quick look at the mirrors themselves. Blind spot monitoring as well is another feature. Memory seats down below. And then that is to open up the hatch. Now you guys can see we've got the seat cover here. So here is the passenger seat, which is identical to the driver's seat in terms of what it looks like. So again, you've got that perforated black leather, but we can pop back over the driver's seat so you can see the power adjustments right here. Pedal layout down below. We have like our light controls here off to the side. Steering wheel is power adjustable. Let's pop in. So 
So here's the shingle for the Q8. Really nice leather trim all around. And then you can see the contrasted stitching there in the center portion. We have our voice command phone controls right here. Paddle shifters here on the back of the steering wheel. And then notice we've got some controls for the center stack. And then we have like our whole cruise control set up here. And then turn signal stock, windshield wiper stock, you know the usual. So here's a gauge cluster, it's a full digital gauge cluster, and if I press the view button, notice it changes the view. Now, if this one is equipped with navigation, which I do believe it is, then you guys can see you can make like a full nav view. So yeah, it's Audi's virtual cockpit. You guys know I'm a huge fan of it because it's easy to use, and I like how there's a lot of like functions just built right into the driver display, so you don't have to be playing with the infotainment system, and you can just, you know, use the controls on the steering wheel. But that's all. So sorry about the glare on the screen. It's just the time of day it is. But anyways, if we pop it into reverse, not neutral, but reverse, you can see we've got a backup camera system. Notice that when I turn the wheel all the way, it actually turns the camera. That's kind of like a cool Audi feature. Now this actually has the full 3D display, which also just adds to the practicality. Um, but you literally have like camera views covering every single angle on the vehicle. Uh, now I don't feel like this particular vehicle needs it because like this is a larger size SUV, but it's not huge. Uh, it's still nice to have that feature. Now moving from this to the rest of the screen, you guys are probably noticing you have to kind of like click down, like you're clicking on a mouse uh, for the functions to happen. But then with this stuff, you can just slide like a normal uh, touch screen, which is kind of interesting. But if we pop to the vehicle tab here, now this first off, if we pop into seats, you can control the whole seat setup right there, which is pretty cool. But you guys are probably more interested in the drive mode select. So we have a bunch of different drive modes here with the Q8. We have off-road, comfort, auto, dynamic, and individual, and yeah, that's it. So you just can basically press these buttons and that'll change the drive mode. Uh, and it'll also show up here in the gauge cluster. Down below we have our secondary screen. Now this is mainly to control the like climate control setup, but you can also turn off the screen up above. You've got your hill descent control, auto stop start as well, and then controls for the heated and cooled seats. So it's kind of like the short cut button uh, screen. And again, you still have that same like click functionality. Drive mode select if you don't want to use the screen to change the drive mode, stability control, and then hazard lights. You know, you guys can see the rest of the stuff. Anyways, parking sensors right there, our engine stops our button, and then the radio control, which I'm glad they have like an analog volume control. So like if you pop in and you know what, the music's just a little bit too loud, you can just twist it and it's off. Cup holders here with the 12 volt. We've got the shifter for that eight speed automatic. And then you guys can see the whole setup here. It's pretty easy to use, uh, frankly. Parking brake right there. And then here is the center console with a wireless phone charging pad inside. Nice trim on top of that. And then I love the trim here on the dash, and then also it says Quattro there. And then you've got nice stitching here on the uh, top of the dash. And then there's actually wood trim right there. I didn't notice that before. Anyways, glove box, pretty normal. And then last but not least, we do have a panoramic sunroof here at the top. Uh, controls are right here. So you've got the sunshade control, that's that one. And then this is for the sunroof uh, just behind it and lighter colored headliner. Now this is really hard to film because if I do this, then my shadow is over the sticker and then you guys can't see it. But anyways, 2023 Q8 and hopefully you can see the standard equipment on this. Uh, this has the adaptive damping suspension. So we'll see how that uh, performs in just a moment. But base price for the Q8 uh, with the 55 powertrain. So the three liter V6, 71,800. This has a couple options added to it. Total MSRP on this one is $79,510. And let's take it out for a short little drive. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both of the mirrors, and they do have blind spot monitoring them throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So setting off in the Q8, AKA, well, the regular Q8. Uh, and the thing that's crazy is I've reviewed the RS Q8. I have also accidentally turned on the volume there. I have also reviewed the SQ8 and I've never reviewed the regular Q8. And so it'll be interesting to see how this performs. So first off uh, with that uh, suspension, it's it's really comfortable actually and let me make sure let's see what drive mode we're in okay screen we got lots of uh, screen stuff happening here i guess that i can finally kind of use this road well actually you know what i am not going to use this road again <laughs> this is there's too much going on here um anyways okay so we're in the comfort uh setting right now if you guys are wondering yeah suspension is it is comfortable i will say it's not as comfortable as uh, Audi's SUVs with the air suspension, but 
it's it's still it's still really comfortable that is for sure I hate some of these roads in Salt Lake because like the <laughs> You can't, like, there's not great visibility down the road, which is kind of annoying. Um, anyways, other than me complaining about roads here in Salt Lake, I love the feel of the steering wheel. Uh, seat comfort's really good, actually. Uh, AC seat function coming in uh, clutch, even though I can't feel it a massive amount because I have the seat cover <laughs> on the seat still. I'm not going to be the one to take it off, okay? Yeah, going over these bumps, it does a, it does a pretty solid job. I will say though, if you can afford uh, to add air suspension, like if, if it's available with an Audi product and you can afford uh, the cost, I think that the air suspension is definitely worth it because it definitely it does smooth out a lot of uh, these bumps and everything. That this again, this does a really good job. Like you can tell that this is really rigid and like there's no creaks or anything like that. But yeah, I I can just feel a difference with that. Um, anyways, we're going to pop it into the dynamic. Yeah, I feel like you have to like really like the thing I've noticed with the Audis is you have to really like click everything. Okay. So getting up and moving again. So this is kind of partial throttle, really torquey, really torquey. That's for sure. So just doing like partial throttle, it, it gets up and it moves at a very substantial pace actually. Okay. So we're going to get another acceleration here. Woo! <laughs> okay, no, not the best acceleration, but at least let me feel the powertrain. So this feels so much different than the SQ8 and the RSQ8 because those have the four liter V8, uh, or is this, you know, has a three liter V6. So what I'd have to say is, I think for just daily driving and all that, this powertrain is fantastic. Uh, and I don't really have any uh, complaints about it. It's, it's really like, when you're just kind of like lightly getting on things and just kind of, uh, you know, just going around, right? really solid when you get into it you do, there is a little bit of lag that you don't really get with the four liter so i guess if you like to do performance driving and all that then the four liter is probably going to be the one to go for but if you just want the q8 uh looks and man this fence is like tight good thing i'm driving this through and not my raptor i'd <laughs> be so i'd be nerve-wracking to take my raptor to that but anyways if you want the looks of the Q8, you want a vehicle that's economical uh, from a fuel economy standpoint and is substantially less expensive than, the, I mean, the SQ8 that I reviewed was like over $100,000. So like, yeah, substantially less expensive compared to an RSQ8 or an SQ8, uh, then I think this is great. Um, but if you are looking for performance, this does provide decent performance, but I would at least step up to the SQ8 if you've if you've got kind of like a, a knack for that. That's gonna sum things up with our video on this Audi Q8. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the strong Audi here in Salt Lake City, Utah for giving me some time with this Q8. Check out the inventory in the description down below. Ask for Landon or Mike if you have any questions whatsoever. I'll see ya.